The belief that spirits are a form of energy left behind after a person passes away or after an emotional or traumatic event occurs in a location is what allows many contemporary ghost hunting devices to function. They sense and look for this energy. Many inventors, all the way back to Thomas Edison, have tried to build devices to communicate with spirits. And now I, Dr. Howard, join that list of inventors who have attempted to communicate with the spirit world. I'm Dr. Howard, and it's Alien Hour. Last time on Alien Hour, I talked a lot about Frank Sumption and and Frank's boxes and the history of attempts to communicate with spirits. I showed you my first Howard's box in progress, and now here it is, complete. If you remember at the time, I was very flustered. I forgot my forgot my blazer. I remembered it today. And I'm not going to show you a lot of me working on the insides of the box because it was a very chaotic experience, to be honest. Uh, I learned a lot in the process. But if you want to imagine what that was like to see me soldering and, and connecting wires and little doodads, uh, just imagine me swearing at this box for hours, and that's what that video would be like. So what I'm showing you instead is the finished box in its nice contained form, and I'm going to show you how it works. One quick thing uh, before we get started, if you've been following the show and following the Instagram, you'll remember that a few months ago I did a live event at the Interplanetary Festival in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and for that event I had a banner made, and uh, it was it was with somebody else, but now I have the banner, so uh, I'm not going to be able to hang it up for this episode, but hopefully for future episodes, so uh, check out my very cool Alien Hour banner. Would you like it's on camera? All right. So yeah, this is, in the future, this will probably go, you know, up here. But yeah, Alien Hour banner. We're getting, Dr. Howard's getting more official every day. Thank thank you to everybody who's uh, subscribed and helping the channel to grow. And if this is the first video you're checking out, uh, make sure to subscribe because we're growing and doing new stuff all the time like cool manners. All right, so now that I've done the introduction, I'm going to bring the camera over here so we can take a look inside of the box and I can show you how it works. I moved the camera over and now you welcome to Dr. Howard Vision. Now that we're in Dr. Howard vision, I'm going to show you how the Howard's box works. So first of all, all of these antennas and stuff are, are can be disconnected, but I just wanted to show you how it looks when everything is hooked in. Um, we've got a couple uh, sensors sticking out of the front and then um, pop pop the box open put in this nice Pelican case that's easy to carry around. There's the inside of the box, okay? All the Arduinos and all that mess that I showed you some images of is all down inside of of this, underneath this piece of wood. And I did not have access to a laser cutter, so I had to hand cut all of this. In the future, I would really like to do it with a laser cutter. So let's get it set up. This antenna works a little better like this. This one wants to be extended. Uh, let's extend it a little bit more. They get really, these antennas get really long, kind of unnecessarily long. So the power goes through a USB, which allows us to either hook it into like a power pack battery or into the wall. I'm going to hook it into the wall. Uh, let me go do that, and I will be right back. 
All right, I'm magically back. And so I've got this uh, USB cord. This is running to an, um, this is running to a, like a cell phone charger basically. So let's plug it in. Each of these switches controls one of the devices. We're gonna turn on the, um, and turn on the uh, spirit box first. So you don't hear anything right now. And that's because this, um, this aux cord runs to a headphone jack. So you can use headphones to listen if you don't want it to make noise. But we're going to have it make noise. So let's plug it in. I had to troubleshoot one thing real quick. But uh, it should be working now. So if you remember me talking about Alien Hour in general recently and the fact that it's an experimental ufology show, I'd like to remind you that this is an experiment and it's, it's, I'd like to make more of these. So there's some things that aren't perfect, but I think that the most important thing when talking to ghosts or spirits is to show them that you care. And so by constructing your own device, even if it's not perfect, I think that that goes a long way into saying, hey, I took all this time to make something because I want to have a conversation with you. And I think that that is more important than, than the circuits necessarily being perfect. Just booted this up and there's something that's not going right. Um, I don't know what, but again, this is a experiment and I don't have, um, I don't have any of my tools with me in the studio today. So, uh, just got to improvise. I think this ground wire came loose from one of the Arduinos. So I'm going to just try to kind of, there we go. So let's see if that was it. I'm going to plug it in and then see if I ground that, if that's what the problem was. And if that wasn't what the problem was, then I don't know what we're going to do. Let's try it. Hopefully this works. And if it doesn't, then we're going to be in the fail zone for Alien Hour on this experiment. All right. Okay, so that was not it. I don't know whose ground wire that was, but it wasn't for the circuit that's not working. Um, shoot, guys. Well, I'm sorry. You get to see, you know, the good, the good thing is you get to see kind of the uh, experimental process here. And, you know, when I... Uh, I'll get back to work on this and hopefully get it working again but it looks like today's episode is not going to happen. I can show you the other functions of it real quick, and then we can uh, get it fixed up. This should be a spirit box. It's not working. The Arduino is kind of dead. <laughs> Maybe we can communicate with the spirit of the Arduino. Um, this, I believe, is the... This is the... Um, Sonar, so it'll only detect movement if an object moves in front of the box. This is the microwave motion detector, and it's just going to go crazy because I'm, I'm in a building with a lot of people, uh, so it will continuously detect. And this, this LED lights up when it detects things. This is the um, EMF detector. It's also lighting up quite a bit. Uh, we are either very haunted or it is picking up the numerous lights and the camera and everything else in the room right now. This is a thermal camera. 
and you can see it'll pick up my hand there and it's it looks kind of hot because the uh it's seeing the light uh behind it and then this goes to this uh this antenna and it is a, a negative ion detector and so it detects charge in the air and if a negative oh see it detected a negative charge so this led will light up and it goes to zero so as you can see we got a lot of functions in one box i don't know why the um the spirit box decided to stop working on us i'm a little bummed up bummed out about that but you know what we'll still do our our ghost invest everything else is working okay so we'll still do, still do our ghost investigation tonight we just won't have the uh spirit box unfortunately so we will just have to um ask questions and see if we pick up any EVPs on my microphone. And then, you know, uh, once I get a chance to fix this box up a little bit, we'll come back and we'll do it again. So we'll do, we're going to do round one for the next episode. I'm going to get this thing fixed. Might take a few months, not going to lie. I'm about to go on a uh, big trip to Northern Ireland where I will be doing some uh, some ghost investigating there. Not with this, unfortunately, just with traditional tools. Um, but I'm not sure that I want to bring this on an airplane anyway. It, uh, you know, obviously is not dangerous in any way, but uh, try explaining to the TSA that you're a ghost hunter and, uh, yeah, see what they have to say about that. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sorry it's not 100%. Like I always say, this is an experimental ufology show. Things don't always go right, but we always try. I'm still really excited about this device. I'm going to get this circuit fixed up uh, when I'm back from my trip. We're going to use the other ones to do a little ghost investigation tonight, and then hopefully in the future, the whole thing will be working. <laughs>